Hello, thank you very much and welcome to the March lecture in this series. We have got, I think it's nine different cases that I'm going to try to cover today, covering a wide range of issues and it was somehow quite difficult to work out which order to put them in to keep them logical, but I think I've managed reasonably well in the circumstances. The first two cases deal with employment issues, so that's a good combination. The Wilmot Dixon case about motoring allowances for national insurance purposes, strictly speaking, and then the Mathel case on termination payments. We move on to a quick look at a case involving chargeable event gains, and then a case about the construction industry scheme and whether or not it was right for RMF to have their gross payment status withdrawn. If we then move on to a capital allowances case for the Cheshire Cavity Storage case, which is a court of appeal decision, and then moving on to some procedural matters, the late payment of tax and whether or not Mr Archer had a reasonable excuse for his late payment, a back duty case strictly in the VAT context, but of general consequence, and then continuing the theme of investigations, we have an information notice after an assessment has been made, the Yeru case. And then finally, a non-tax case from a strict perspective, but nevertheless something which is probably relevant to all or most of us, professional negligence claims. In this case, it was a claim made against a barrister for negligent or allegedly negligent tax advice. So there are just a few issues there which might be worth looking at. That is the end of my final case, unless there are any questions on that. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in four weeks time, same time. And again, you've got the provisional dates for the rest of the season. Subject to any last minute questions, thank you very much and hope to see you after Easter.